Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Torrance. I'm a student at the University of Finley in the Occupational Therapy Program. This week I'm going to be talking with you about fine motor skills, what they are and how we can improve them in our children. And I'm gonna give you activities that you guys can do at home, um, especially during this time where the kids aren't physically going to be going to school. So fine motor skills are movements that use the muscles in our hands and our fingers and they develop from birth through early elementary school years. To have really strong fine motor skills, children must also have strong proximal stability. Proximal stability starts at the core and it works its way through the shoulder girdle into the muscles and joints surrounding the elbows, then to the wrist, hand, and fingers. Typically, infants that don't get a lot of tummy time or those that don't crawl have less developed proximal stability because they've not been in the position of weight bearing through their arms which strengthens that shoulder girdle. When kids don't have strong proximal stability their fine motor skills are typically weak or delayed. These kids will often complain that their hands or arm is tired um, and they most likely will not enjoy doing activities like drawing and writing. A child should be able to rest their arm on the table and use only their fingers to move the pencil by the time that they are in kindergarten. If a child's elbow is off of the table or they're moving the utensil with their fingers, wrist, and whole shoulder, they may have weak proximal strength. And if their proximal strength improves, then their fine motor skills will also improve. And it can be seen in their scissor skills, handwriting skills, and their manipulation of small toys and clothing fasteners. So, some ways that you can work on improving proximal stability um, is through having the child write on a vertical surface, such as a chalkboard, a dry erase board. Um, another way you could do this is tape a worksheet to the wall or a board um, and let them write while they're standing up. You can also make your own slant board with a binder with the slant downwards towards the child. This forces the wrist to extend and forces the fingers to do all of the work. So, for example, I would use a binder like this. Um, six inches is best, but anything is better than nothing. Um, and you would have this slant come downward towards the child when they're writing. So you can put a piece of paper on it and you can either tape it there or have them hold it with their other hand. And I'm just going to demonstrate what this would look like. So my wrist would be flat on the board and I'm using only my fingers. You can see just my fingers are moving rather than my wrist to write my name. And here's what that would look like. So then, if I was not using my fine motor movements and I had poor proximal stability, it would look more like this without the board. So you see, watch my, how my um, shoulder kind of does the movements rather than just my fingers. And it would look more like that. So. You can use this with any worksheet. So while the kids are off of school at home, um, I know they have homework to do, you can try and put it on a binder like that so that you're really encouraging um, their fine motor skills to strengthen rather than using the shoulder to do um, a lot of the work. So another way that you can work on increasing proximal strength is to have the child lay on their stomach while doing things like board games, reading, doing puzzles. This gives that deep pressure into the elbow and the shoulder, really strengthening that shoulder girdle while they're propped up on their elbows um, in that great weight bearing position. That's going to strengthen the shoulder girdle, which then will in return strengthen our fine motor skills. So some other things that you can do is encourage crawling, wheelbarrow walking, any sort of animal walks, which we will be talking about in another video coming up, um, using their arms to hold their body up to play, read games, do puzzles like I mentioned. So this really is able to get that 
um, strengthening into the shoulder to improve those skills like handwriting, cutting, um, and fine motor movements. So um, an example of an activity would be to have your child crawl through um, like a tunnel or under a blanket even on their hands and knees, jump up to write a letter. Um, it could be on the wall or if you want to put like some shaving cream on the wall, they can write it in that. Um, on a whiteboard, a chalkboard, or even just on a binder slant board like I had showed you. And then you can have them wheelbarrow walk all the way back to the start position and keep going until either they've written their name or the alphabet. Um, this activity can be changed in a bunch of different ways. You can have them um, pick up one puzzle piece at a time and bring it over to the puzzle and put it together uh, laying on their belly, but they can crawl to pick up the piece or wheelbarrow walk or any of those um, patterns where you're really bearing weight through your arms um, and even your legs. So some activities I want you to try, um, do a puzzle propped up on your stomach, play a board game on your stomach. You can draw on the bathtub walls with those special paint crayons that are made for the tub. Um, any sort of climbing, like monkey bars, um, climbing trees, playground equipment, ladders, um, wheelbarrow walking, or you can even use one of those exercise balls. Um, animal walks, like we talked about, like the bear walk, crab walk, seal walk, donkey kicks. Um, yoga poses, like downward dog. Balloon volleyball, where you're trying to keep the balloon up overhead jumping rope, washing windows, tables, and desks. I know adults typically don't like to do those activities, um, but the kiddos love it. So let them get that extra strengthening um, for their shoulder while doing it. Playing catch with a large exercise ball or a weighted ball, and then drawing, writing, or coloring on that vertical surface like I talked about. So kids, I want you to grab a piece of paper um, and some tape. And we're actually going to draw with this taped up to the wall. So go ahead and get something to write with um, and also something that you can put your picture up on the wall with so that we can practice. Um, a great position to do this is this in is on your knees standing tall because that's going to really work the core as well as the shoulder while you're writing up above um, the, on the elevated surface. So I'm just going to start by writing the alphabet and I want you guys to either do the alphabet with me or you can draw a picture, whatever you'd like, um, but we're gonna take a minute to do that so that you can really see what I'm working on. So see how my wrist is touching the wall and I'm really only able to move my fingers and my shoulder is not moving. All of that movement is coming back and forth from my fingers rather than my shoulder or even my wrist. you can see that really worked on strengthening my shoulder as I was going um, because my shoulder was up above my head and then my arm was resting flat on the wall so that I was not able to move my shoulder um, but it was still strengthening it so I'm going to be posting a list of those activities um, that I had mentioned below in the comments for you guys to try while the kids are home to really strengthen those fine motor skills. Um, 
I'd love it if you wanted to drop a picture of what you drew on the wall below. Um, or if you have any questions, please feel free to comment and I will get back to you. Uh, I'd love it if you could like and subscribe. Um, if you like this video and subscribe to our channel, we're going to be posting videos um, daily over a variety of to topics over the next couple weeks at least. Um, and if you subscribe, you'll be able to get a notification on when we post something fun for you guys to practice. So again, remember that working on this proximal stability and the shoulder girdle and the core is a great way to then increase those fine motor skills um, when writing and that should make a world of difference um, in getting your kids to be able to do these activities. So writing on the wall, something that's super fun, kids enjoy, um, and any sort of change of pace, if having them standing rather than sitting at the table is most likely gonna change their perception on the activity um, and make it super fun. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.